hello my lovely people you're welcome back once again to my channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is tina iso i'm a youtuber based in Owe in nigeria so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and join my amazing family okay thank you so much and on my channel i vlog about family health lifestyle beauty as well as great content around oweri and any city i find myself so you're welcome thank you for joining our family on today's video guys actually i am somewhere far from home now i'm in Enugu state now and i want to share this content with you people today i i want to believe that most people if not all people the persons that watch me are adults i need your contribution whatever you feel about this video please put it down in the comment section i want to believe that one of the reasons we come to youtube is to support and advise each other so someone a sister here right now needs an advice please i want you to watch it to the end assume that it's your sister or your yeah your sister or anybody around you cousin can can be a cousin sister please give her advice so one of my subscriber invited me that I should come and meet her somewhere in the joint i was like yeah i'm going to see my subscriber i opened the vlog i was hoping that it's going to be a fun fun one but at the tail end i realized that i don't need to show her face initially i was thinking that i'm going to show her face and you know normal vlogging now but i realized that it's something the main reason for inviting me is not something i have to show her face but she gave me consent to share this with us here and that she will be in the comment section to hear the advice that will be coming from all of us i actually have gave her my own personal advice but let me share her story at this point in time she's considering leaving her marriage as a christian personally according to her she wouldn't want to leave but because of the uh, situation surrounding the the whole gist, the whole story she's considering that that would be a better decision for her so let's dive into the main story she called me and told me that first off she has been this like five years in marriage over five years in marriage and unfortunately yeah they have not uh, been blessed with a child in fact the first time she came to my channel was through my ivf story in case if you're watching this video i'm a mom of three and i conceived them through ivf so sharing that testimony here a lot of people chatted me up on my instagram if you're not with my instagram family what are you waiting for hey please go it's same name tina underscore is so i join my family there okay i am putting it hot hot there because i know through instagram you can attract subscriber too i'm from youtube you can attract followers so i am dragging you now to my <laughs> to my instagram okay so she chatted me up on instagram and was like since i am in the weary that she's in the weary how can she go for the ivf that she's considering it and all that so i advised her to the point that the day she was going to where i sent her to go she actually called me and i spoke with the clinic telling them that hey i'm referring to so so person and they gave her the attention but what happened is that she's married and wedded in church and when it came to the ivf she went though she said she told her husband that she was going to make the inquiry about the ivf section so and she got back and told the husband you guys should just please listen and advise her first off she said she told the husband that let them consider going for ivf the husband screamed frowned at it and was like why okay where are they going to get money from so she said ah they have two cars that they can manage one that let them sell one that the child is more important than the car and it was a big issue behold they have gone for fertility screenings and found out that either is it the motility or mobility one of those a um, factor that can make a man not to impregnate the wife that the guy had the same issue so and they have been advising him to quit smoking and drinking which he felt that according to the lady she said that the husband said is his lifestyle that is a habit that he has formed that he cannot uh, stop it just like that so now because 
of the pressures that are always on women to conceive to bore a child probably the parents of the guy may not know that hey is your child though or people around they will always point fingers on the woman you know now it's our african reasoning and mentality so she said when the guy, husband frowned at selling the car so she now relaxed and was like okay there is nothing she can do she was not doing contributions like as a worker as a civil servant and this person the lady in question earns more than the husband like seriously and most of the uh, financial expenditures in the house are being carried out by her so she was like it's a project on her this thing happened last year it's a project on her she started saving hoping that before march april this year she would have saved enough to be able to go for the ivf section just to carry him and go now no be now woman wahala <laughs> so that was her plan but behold i think and remind you that she told she told me that she's always been battered the guy is always giving her domestic violence beating and stuff like that and the last one that happened october not even the last one the one that happened october last year she invited her parents to come and talk to the guy and behold when they got there they asked him what happened what is the problem he was like no problem if there is problem there they should ask their daughter you know that kind of scenario he kind of told the parents oh yeah shut up and go back to your house that there is no problem in their marriage and all that but she told me that the mother had to tell him okay since there is no problem stop beating my daughter you are always beating her stop it and that was just it so when the one that happened after that october beating towards november she said someone came to her and revealed a secret to her that that day was like the world is turning upside down whether she she believe it or not but she had to summon courage and ask the husband she, the person revealed to her that the husband has two sons before they got married that is marriage in deceit he had two sons and not that he had two sons he now started making arrangements to go and bring the children into the house because they are living in a village setting and the mother who happens to be the mother-in-law to this my subscriber is living around them too so the plan was to bring the children and keep with the mother why this lady will be feeding them with the hope that it's just kids that the parents are not available that the mother has to take care of and she will have to support them so when they reveal that she summoned the courage and asked the husband and he accepted he didn't deny them okay now you want at the third end you want the marriage to continue you want two of you to be continue to be husband and wife so what is her state now first off there is marriage in the seat you lied to her you didn't probably maybe you didn't lie because she didn't ask you but you didn't tell her see i had children or i even i have a child outside the wedlock now you have this fertility issue you smoke you drink alcohol and all that form all those habits that can actually affect the reproductive system of a, a man you are not interested in solving it you are not interested in helping this woman to buy a child for you rather you are not thinking of planning of executing it even to go and bring your child back home so when she got to hear that and asked the guy he accepted apologized that he's sorry that he's not going to be going there again he will not go after the children again his plan now is that to bring the children and probably send it to his brothers or his sisters so that the children will be with them and not to come back to the house and he still care less about helping this woman to conceive for them so in this situation now and she told me that last month being february uh something happened someone came to the house and she was not in the house someone came to the house to assist he had do something and the man started suspecting that they are having a relationship as in a guy he came to the house and he started beating her up now she's planning on two things to stay in the marriage and that this is where she wants us to advise her to stay in the marriage and have the mind that since this guy was already has two sons and he's not going he's not bothered about working on himself towards this woman conceiving for him so he's relaxed after all i have two sons what do i need extra to do 
do you guys understand so in this situation now uh, if she has to accept to stay in the marriage she equally have to accept the faith that she can bear a child and if she does anything definitely they will say she, maybe she went outside to conceive that's the first one and the second one is leaving the marriage for good so this is where she wants us to advise her as a sister should she stay in the marriage and remain childless or probably hoping on god that someday god will correct the problem with the guy and she will conceive and bear for him or should she leave the marriage considering the fact that she's having domestic violence in the marriage and the fact that the guy doesn't even feed the home she brings money to feed the home and the thirdly he has two sons already she was even telling me that okay if she conceived now finally for him and maybe bear a child would the child be the first son or the ones he got from outside women will be the first and second son so in this kind of situation she needs our advice i beg of you please give her suggest don't just watch and go suggest if you have a sister that is in this kind of situation what would you advise her to do that is all i actually gave her my own advice i will equally put that down in the comment section probably if you put your comments if they are in line with what i suggested i will equally put it down but if it's not i will still tell you what i told her and why i said what i said okay thank you so much for listening up until this moment and subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel thank you so much god bless you and at the same time give this video a thumbs up share so that other people can equally learn from this learn from this and at the same time give their own suggestions she will be in the comment section to watch to listen to our advice and she needs this advice as quick as possible so that she will be able to uh, take a quick decision before they meme her inside marriage or probably living with misery all the rest of her life in the name of marriage so what do you advise guys let's give her our candid advice god bless you all as you put down your comments until we see some other time i love you Mwah.